get to another article. Most in-demand skills. Most in-demand skills and training and skills that you can use to land a job as a cloud security expert. And guess what, guys? If you have these cloud and security skills, you can land a job making $119,000 a year at companies like Amazon and Google. Guys, it took me four years, five years to be making that amount of money out of college, okay? Took me that amount of time to be making that amount of money out of college. And when you get to that salary, you're going to be like, you're going to want more. You're going to want more. You get to the 150, you're going to want more. You get to the 170, you're going to want more. You get to the 240, you're going to want more. So when people always talk about, hey, man, how come these rich people don't slow down? No, you want more. You want to make more money. It looks good. It, you can take care of people. You do what the hell you want to do. Okay? Let's get these skills, though. Let's get these skills. All right. So here are some trainings and skills that you can use to land a job as a cloud security expert paying an average of 119000 a year at companies like Amazon and Google. High-paying tech jobs or high-paying tech companies are desperate to hire cybersecurity professionals amid talent shortages. And one of the most in-demand skills right now is cloud security, according to one expert. And here's how IT professionals can acquire skills to get hired in security roles at cloud firms. I'm not the cloud security expert, but I know somebody who is. Professor Black Ops, go check him out. Go check him out. Miss Wade, drop his uh, channel into the chat. Good brother, big brother of mine out of Indianapolis, making it happen. Has a catalog of knowledge on his channel about the whole spectrum of AWS and cloud security. If you want to learn, go and check it out. It's This information is free. It's free. The tech industry is desperate for cloud security professionals, and firms are paying top dollar to IT workers with the right training. The need for cloud security workers is caused by two-pronged talent shortage. An existing cybersecurity talent gap that has left millions of rows unfilled in a rapid adoption of the cloud without the IT workers to support it. Okay. So learning new cloud security skills pays off for workers. The average credential cloud security expert earns $119,000 or 27% more than those without a cloud security certification. According to a survey by ISC, an IT training nonprofit. Meanwhile, the average IT certification across disciplines results in a salary increase of 5% to 10%, according to Ralph Robert Half. <clears throat> but deciding which certifications to pursue requires understanding the business needs during a talent shortage. You should be tactical about what certifications you're going to pursue. You need to take into account what type of role you want to fill. So make sure you do your research, guys. Make sure you talk to people in this space if you want to get into cloud and cybersecurity. There's many roles. There's a, as Professor Block Ops have told me, there's a green team, there's a purple team, there's a, a blue team. And I could have that wrong, but I think that's what he mentioned in our interview uh, some months ago. But the Certified Cloud Security Professional cer uh, Certificate is a good starting point for IT professionals who don't have much experience in cybersecurity and want a broad base to start their cloud security careers. Another person, too. I mean, you mean rewind outside of PBO. <clears throat> we got Brother Master IT, right? Brother Master IT, Brother Rob, who's been on his channel as well, too. Miss Wade, go ahead and drop his channel in the link as well. Get certified. Personal instructor, personal trainer. Comp TI certified. And I think one of the certifications that he offers in his From Zero to Hero is the Certified Cloud Security Professional Certificate. 
And as Business Insider, or Business Insider says, it's a good starting point for IT professionals. So many people always say, hey, you know, what's, 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 what certificate should I get? Well, you can go to zero to IT hero path, brother Rob. He's giving you the ones that you need. He's sharing with you the ones that you need enough for you to get to the money. Start from zero to hero. Brother Rob, master IT, crushing the game right now. Or you can just choose to do it your own way. But you need to have the information. You need to do the research. And here's some research for you right now. The Certified Cloud Security Professional Certificate is a good starting point for IT professionals who don't have much experience in cybersecurity and want a broad base to start their cloud security careers. The demand is, sur- uh, is soaring for CCSPs, a credential issued by the U.S. Department of Defense. CCSP was the fastest growing certification port, uh, in ISC's portfolio last year amid the rise in cloud adoption, the group says. Obtaining a CCSP certificate requires time and money, though, as trainings can cost up to $7,000 plus $600 to take the exam. Shit, I'm going to spend $7,000 to get a CCSP that's going to help me potentially make $119,000 if I wasn't making that amount of money. $7,000 is chump change compared to that. Invest in yourself. We talked about that earlier, right? Into the early segment about how to get respect in your relationship and your marriage. When your partner or your spouse sees that you're investing $7,000, it doesn't have to be the money. This has to be about you're looking to improve yourself. When they see that, when they see that you're doing that, they're going to respect you guys. Spend the $7,000. Even better yet, go to Brother Rob's course, Master RT, which is less, a lot less than that. When your partner, your girlfriend, your wife, sees that you're investing in yourself to make yourself better, to make your offspring better, to make your lives better. You're going to have more respect for yourself. You're going to have higher self-esteem. She's going to have a lot of respect for you as well too, guys. So sitting back, not getting in the game, making a little bit of money, not even at six figures yet, complaining, yet on your TV, on your TV, you watching bullshit. Damn! Okay. Guys, spend the $7,000. CCSPs, good place to start. Good place to start. $7,000. It's an investment in yourself. I don't care if it's 20. Invest in yourself. For professionals who already have some IT experience, it might make more sense to pursue company-specific cloud security certifications rather than a CCSP. If someone wants to land a job in cloud security at a company that uses Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, obtaining a platform-specific certification will likely prove more useful than a more general cybersecurity certification. Okay, makes sense. If you're already in IT, you have some skills, Maybe you're already working on a platform, Google, Amazon, right? Microsoft. You have, you're working on a company or working for a company that leverages these tools. Then getting specific certifications is the better route to go. But if you are new to IT, you want to get into cybersecurity, a CCSP is a good certification to get. A CCSP is a good certification to get. Pursuing platform-specific certifications could also prepare candidates for a security role at one of the cloud platforms themselves. Okay? So, if you went with Amazon, Microsoft, Google, got those certifications, guess what you can do? You can then potentially even move over to Amazon, Google, Microsoft. Let me tell you something. I, a good brother of mine, a patron of ours, Brother Nix. Brother Nix. 
And let me tell you this. This brother has over 41 certifications, and a lot of them are Microsoft. And every week, he's getting tapped on his shoulder now because he's entered into wanting to get into some of these bigger companies, improved his resume. So he has these companies going out there looking for great people and interviewing them. It's only a matter of time before he's going to be at one of these big companies, VMware, NVIDIA, Microsoft. But he's put in the work. He's got certifications. He's trained on specific platforms like Microsoft. So another way that you can do it, guys, is start off, get a CCSP, start, choose a platform, learn, go to the big companies. Go to the big companies. Make that money. We got Ms. Stevens in the house. Ms. Stevens is in the house. We're... Part of this conversation was about Miss Stevens. Get into the bag. Equity. Saying, you know what? I'm going to get into tech. I understand that this is where the money is. And making a commitment to get there. It's 2022. It's no excuses, guys. That's what our motto is. It's no excuses today. It's no excuses today at all. But if you want to make the money, you have every opportunity to do so. And tech is a good place to start, guys. It's a good industry to be in. So let me get back to here. Pursuing platform and specific certifications could also prepare candidates for a security role at one of the cloud platforms themselves. Those firms typically play cloud security workers in the low six figures, like AWS, which hired security engineers last year with salaries ranging from 87,000 to 160,000, making that money. But certifications are not the be all and end all for getting a job in cloud security. Companies are increasingly evaluating candidates based on other criteria, including experience and the ability to demonstrate security skills. So get your certifications, but make sure you're labbing. Make sure you're with KevTech IT support, PBO. Make sure you got a lab. Make sure you understand you, what you're doing. Make sure you practice because they're going to be looking at that as well. Okay, but that means that while getting a certification can provide useful training, it's more important that job seekers are able to prove they have the skills to back up the certification. And in some cases, people who already have experience in cloud engineering might not need to earn a cloud security credential in order to land a security role. So you are been labbing and you don't have the certifications and you've been in IT and you just learn this stuff on your own majority of the time you don't need the certification yeah certification is going to provide some validation but if you already have the skills what's the point what's the point i don't have a lot of certifications but i have a lot of skills because i've done a lot of things in the world in the corporate world same way in it guys but if you want to start a good place to start is to get those certifications